you my mom. I wanted me to tell you something. My mom wanted to thank you for helping me out with my reading because she thinks it was really nice of you to take all that time after school and during lunch and even that one day before school just to help me learn how to read better. Because if you hadn't spent all that extra time with me, I probably wouldn't be able to read much of anything. And my mom just wanted me to thank you. And Peter, and this is for me. Merry Christmas, Mrs. Legau. Thank you. You're welcome. Mrs. Legau? Want me to read it for you? I'd like that. I'd like that very much. There are some special people we meet along this way who make our journey. Commercials can appeal to a variety of emotions, including one of our strongest, our need for security. This approach suggests that if you don't buy the product, then your job or your social standing or even your life may be in jeopardy. As you watch this next spot, ask yourself, what emotions does this ad convey? How do the visuals and sounds help to create these emotions? All right, kid. Here we go. Nine. What do you got? What do you got? What? Yeah, yeah. All right, come on, come on. What would you do if someone you loved had a heart attack? Yeah. Did you know it's now been proven that the same bare aspirin you have in your bag for muscle aches may actually help stop you from dying if you take it during a heart attack? Downtown. Lucky shot. Can your pain reliever do that? Talk to your doctor now. Next time I'll go easier on you. Bear. Powerful pain relief and so much more. On the opposite end of the emotional spectrum is the use of humor or irony in commercials. When humor makes us laugh, it makes a powerful impression, so we're more likely to remember a spot and to associate the product with a fun, positive feeling. Take a look at this next commercial. Think about what makes it funny. How does the humor make this product more appealing? Another persuasive technique is the catchy phrase, usually placed at the end of a spot. These are called slogans or taglines. A slogan is a memorable phrase that is repeated throughout the ad campaign in the hope that viewers will remember and associate it with the product. The more popular slogans become part of our everyday language. Some commercials use a persuasive technique called product comparison. These spots portray the competitor's product as inferior. Some comparisons may be subtle and others direct. Does this technique work? Watch the following commercial and think about how comparison is used. Do you think it's effective? of a new generation. Commercials for products or services are not the only TV ads that use persuasive techniques. Consider political commercials, spots that promote candidates for political office. Today, politicians must reach as many people as possible, as quickly as possible. 
Television commercials not only provide such opportunities, they are proven to have a huge impact on elections. Because of this impact, advertising is vital to spreading a politician's message. And the makers of political TV spots don't just present issues, they carefully cultivate a candidate's image to play off our emotions. In doing so, they use many of the techniques we explored earlier. After all, they are selling a product, it just happens to be a person and his or her political views. For voters, though, the real concern is to separate the image presented of a politician from the actual issues that the politician supports. For example, a commercial can show a politician as being a warm, friendly person who will make great improvements. But does this mean that the politician supports the issues that you support? Look at this political spot from Ronald Reagan's presidential campaign of 1984. How do the visuals and music create a positive feeling about the country and the candidate? What do you learn about the candidate's political viewpoints? In a town not too far from where you live, a young family has just moved into a new home. Three years ago, even the smallest house seemed completely out of reach. Right down the street, one of the neighbors just bought himself a new truck with all the options. The factory down by the river is working again. Not long ago, people were saying it would probably be closed forever. Just about every place you look, things are looking up. Life is better. America's back. And people have a sense of pride they never thought they'd feel again. And so it's not surprising that just about everyone in town is thinking the same thing. Now that our country is turning around, why would we ever turn back? Next, we're going to show a political spot that takes a different approach. This ad ran in Lyndon Baines Johnson's presidential campaign of 1964, when the threat of war between the Soviet Union and the United States was very real. What issue is being presented here? How does this commercial make you feel? In what ways is it different from the first political spot that you saw? each other or we must die vote for president johnson on november 3rd the stakes are too high for you to stay home advertising is powerful it can enlighten and inform as well as entertain but remember that every facet of a tv commercial from color to music to sound effects is there for a reason and that reason is to get you to buy so Next time you watch commercials, try to recognize the audience and the purpose of the spot. Notice the visuals and the sound used to grab your attention and the persuasive techniques used to influence you. Separate reason from emotion and substance from style. Always compare products and weigh your options. Be a thoughtful consumer and you'll make smarter buying decisions.